you are watching Well of the Fathers. Praise God here with us in Well of the Father Father's Prophetic Channel, uh, Apostle Henry Wayne, the coordinator of Church Renewal Africa. It's a pleasure to have you here, sir. Uh, please, sir, can you uh, tell us um, the vision of Church Renewal and what Church Renewal is all about? Thank you, sir. Well, thank you so much, uh, Pastor Douglas, for this opportunity. Uh, Church Renewal is a discipleship movement and uh, it's um, about the renewal of the church. Well, sometimes uh, we talk about revival, uh, revival as an event, and uh, we call people, they come and we have this event of prayer. But when we go back in home, we are going back to our same lifestyle. So church renewal is a holistic transformation. You know, our key verse scripture is Romans chapter 12, uh, which says that uh, don't be conformed to the standard of this world, but be you transformed by renewing of your mind. So we believe renewal is of the mind, the soul, it is holistic. So church renewal centers about uh, spirituality and spiritual practices. We teach that you don't just preach prayer, you live prayer and effective prayer. We centers about hearing the voice of God. That's one of our key things in church renewal. We mentor leaders so that they can renew their church, but we mentor them in the area of prayer. We believe that prayer is supposed to be communication that people can dialogue with the Lord. It's not a monologue, what we have made it to be, especially here in Africa, it's monologue. It's a one-way traffic. We talk and talk and never get a response from God. So we centers about praying effectively. You know, the Bible talks about praying wrongly in the book of James. We believe we have prayed wrongly, very, very bad uh, for the years. Now, we are so enthusiastic by nature, like Africans, we are very, very energetic, charisma. We have a lot of charisma. We love to scream, shout, and jump. All that sounds pretty good, but the key thing is, can you have a dialogue and inquire from God, like David inquired from the Lord when he was going to the war, he asked God, do you want me to go? And the Lord said, you can go. Another time he said, don't go. Another time the Lord said, you can go. He gave him a strategy on how to go. So even in a life, the day-to-day -day life, marketplace people, people transacting their businesses, they need to hear God whether should I invest this money in this? Should I uh, grow this? Should I raise this? Should I uh, take this job? Should I? I mean, people need that dialogue. And we strongly believe that he that created the ear, he does hear. And he that created the eye, of course, he sees. So if he created the ear, he hears. You know, the Bible says the Lord is near to those who call upon him. Uh, the Bible says that call upon me and I'll answer you. We know the, all these verses. So Church Renew is trying to make sure that we live that kind of life where we can ask God questions and he answers our questions. We can seek his will and we get it in a moment. Not just asking God his will and wait for years and years without getting an answer. We believe in restoration of the prophetic in a church. One of the signs that shows that the church is truly uh, a spirit-filled church is that the church should be able to, 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 to exhibit the gifts of the spirit, especially the prophecy and the dreams and the vision. You know, uh, uh, the Bible talks about, Peter actually says this in Acts chapter 2, on the day of the Pentecost, Pe Pentecostal, he stood and said, that these are not drunk like you suppose are drunkard, but this is it. This is what was prophesied by Prophet Joel. 
that in the last days I'll pour my spirit to all the flesh. And one of the signs that shows that the church is filled, filled, there has to be prophecy. There has to be give, uh, dreams and visions. So, and uh, we have to restore that. We are calling it a prophetic voice. There is no renewal without the prophetic voice being restored to the body of Christ. Now, what we have created for a long time, we have created a culture where people depend on the pastor. We have made the pastors superstar that they are the one in charge of laying hands and praying for believers, all that kind of stuff. So church renewal will make sure that empowers every believer in the church where they can go to God, talk to God, hear from him. I'm not saying that we should not, we don't need pastors. Yes, the pastors are needed to be there in the congregation and guide. But of course, whether pastor, evangelist, prophet, apostle, we know Ephesians chapter 4, 11 says that the gifts came for the work of ministry. The gifts came for empowering, equipping the believers, the saints for the work of ministry. So pastors are there not to shine all the time. I'm not saying they should not shine. They can shine all they want. But as long as they're empowering the church and the church is able to talk to God and take on the Great Commission to the ends of the world. So we cannot longer just wait for uh, for the apostles, for the prophet to come around the time, around the, ta the, the town and everyone runs and say, lay hands on me, prophesy to me, man of God, prophesy to me. We want the body of Christ to be depending on the Holy Spirit because the church is the age of the Spirit. The church is in the, the uh, this is the, 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 the day of grace. This is the day of the Spirit of God. This is when the Spirit of God is supposed to be in charge and leading the church. So church renewal in briefly is there to empower you, to empower you the leader. You renew your life first and then you renew your church. You, you, you grow your church, not only in the area of prayer, but we also want to grow the, our character. We, we want to be uh, accountable, faithful, you know, that we are not failing in our character. We are not failing in our marriage. We are not failing in our business. We are not failing in the, in the life today. So we are empowering the kingdom of God. We are about the Father's kingdom and uh, fathering expanding the kingdom of God. Uh, we, do, we, we, we are tired of talking about where Jesus, what Jesus did, where God has been. We want to see God in our lives and day-to-day -day lives. So thank you so much for uh, wanting to know about Church Renewal. The, one of the things we encourage you is you can go to our website, churchrenewal.com, or you can ask questions uh, from Apostle Douglas and anybody else to give you details on how we mentor. We actually mentor online. We have materials that are worth millions and millions of money, but all these materials, we give them for free, and we use them to mentor wow. leaders online. And as they are being mentored online, they go and implement in their churches. So find out what we are and what we are about and you'll never be the same your life will never be the same so god bless you oh thank you so much it's quite uh, a pleasure to know what church renewal is all about uh please one more uh church renewal is it for everyone or for s just some people Specifically, well, well, church renewal is for everybody in the body of Christ, but we focus first and foremost to the leaders. We have a slogan we say that God renews a leader first before He renews the church. Now, if everything is going to be right or done right, we have to deal with the leader. And if everything is going to fall, I think it was John Maxwell who said that everything raises or falls on the level of the leader. If the leaders are not talking to God right, then things are not going to go right. So we're engaging first and foremost the leaders in the church, especially senior pastors and evangelists, apostles. We are engaging you so that you can take this to everybody 
Church Union, we are mentoring businessmen, we are mentoring all sorts of people in the body of Christ. But first of all, we are starting with leaders. That's awesome. Fantastic. Thank you so much. God bless you. Thank you, sir.